Hi, Ava. So you, you and the new federal state of China have whistleblowers inside the Chinese Communist Party. What are you learning now a couple days after this attack? What did China know and, and what do you suspect China's role was in all of this? Mm -hmm. um, I don't have we don't have any updated uh, intel on this particular attack that just happened on the weekend. But however, I want to re-emphasize what you just mentioned is the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, has been funding the war, uh, not only um, uh, Iran, but also the proxies of Iran. OK, so uh, you just mentioned that the, the Chinese spokesperson at the UN, they want to call in for ceasefire, but that's not what they really intend to do. They want to destabilize the region. And you see that Iran, the attack of Iran that happened on the weekend, it's quite restrained. It's quite composed because before Iran decided to retaliate, they gave two days uh, before uh, two days ahead of the attack. The Iran actually uh, gave all the information, their uh, their plans, the timing of their attack to Saudi and UAE, which then passed to United States. So this is a controlled attack. OK, so there's so I don't think right now we're going to escalating the war right away. But who is controlling the pace? People need to pay attention. It's the CCP. You know, so I wanted to Ava, OK, go it, ahead. It, 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 it's, I want to just reiterate the fact it's so important you mention this because I was talking about this on radio this morning. How in the world are you going to attack an enemy? and give them two or three days warning? I said, it doesn't make any sense. The whole goal of, of, of war, if you're trying to win, is the art of surprise. So I think there was more to it than, uh -huh. than just the attack.